this video demonstrates the block level design and verification of digital logics using Verilog HDL in Xilinx Vivado tool. Here I will demonstrate how to design a simple AND gate using block design. For this create a design source. Click to add the design source. Select add or create design sources. Click on next. Click on create file. Give the file name. I am considering an AND gate with two input. I will label it with the two. Finish. So provide the module name with inputs A and B as the input Y as the output click OK double click on this design source You provide the body because already we have defined the module module name with input a b and output y provide the body by using the assign statement assign y is equal to a and b save this design after creating the design, we use the test bench to test this design. But I am going to use the block level designing for this circuit. You can click on create block design. You can change the name or keep as it is. Click OK. We have the module here and this is the block level design BD block design. You can select this right click on this and click on add module to block design or within this new window you can just right click add module. So this was the module which we have created. Click OK. Now we have the module. This was the module with input A and B. To logically verify this, you can provide the inputs click on add IP search for constant we have a constant IP block this acts as a input source to this double click and see what is the value provided so it has constant width ranging from 1 to 1 0 sorry 4096 and constant value of 1 so that means it provides a constant value of 1 high value and I can change this let me copy this I have one more constant because I have two inputs here this value constant 1 I can force it to 0 now this is a simple AND gate with two inputs one of the input is 1 the other input is 0 you make the connections just connect it and this is the output port 
so this is what we want to observe so right click on this make it as external you can click here to check the design validation is successful no errors then finally regenerate the layout So this is the circuit which we want to verify. Now to verify this directly you cannot verify because we are using the blocks. Come to the sources. Come to the sources. You have this block design. Convert this block into Verilog. For that right click create HDL wrapper. Next, click OK. It is converting the block design to Verilog. You can observe that it is updating and the extension now is .v. Now block design is a part of Verilog. To see the view, Verilog view, you can see that we have a module only with output because in the block level, we have provided the input as a constant. Only one is visible. The same is replicated in the Verilog module that output is Y0 and the design is having Y0. Once the design is completed and wrapping is done, you can directly go to the run simulation to check the functionality of the design. Click on run behavioral simulation. The design is the smallest one and what we have provided is input as 1 and 0. You can increase the bits whether it is 1 bit, 2 bit you can increase them. Check the output that the value will be 0 because you can see from the sources or from the block design that for this AND gate the provided input is 1, the other input is 0. So the functionality of AND for 1 and 0 it will be output is 0. Now let me change this as 1 both are 1 the output should be 1 it is updating the design again you need to create the wrapper right click create the HDL wrapper click OK it has created it then again Earlier the value was 0, it will change to 1. Now the value is 1. The value represented is high or 1. For 1, 1, the value is 1. In this way, you can verify any digital logics 
by using the block designs by using the block level representation without using a test bench